Hey there, let's talk about batteries. Today we're gonna talk about a mystery battery. I like these, I like the mystery stuff. This is some kind of battery. We don't know what it is. Never seen it before. Uh, we don't know anything about it. All we know is that it's supposed to be out of a truck, like a semi truck. And they came in big giant boxes, right? So there's with a bunch of these modules. So the cool thing is they seem to be cylindrical and they have coolant, a coolant loop through them, right? So. I think they probably could push quite a bit of power. They come into these little modules right here. And if you count, well, one, two, three, four, five, six. And it looks like it's got another six on this side. One, two, three, four, five, six. So it seems to be a 12S module. Let's take this cap off. And here we go. Okay, so there we go. This is the top of the modules. It's got his own BMS inside. Look at that, a truck battery module is using bms uh is using pcbs on the terminals on the terminals check that out okay so it's i think it's using regular bus bars oh i, I think i could probably take this off so i think what's happening here it's that it's using uh this just for the bms stuff right and check it out it seems to have their own little fuses it's a fusible link in there connecting the board into the, the cell terminal and then it's got little bus bars but like these bus bars are, are kind of small so probably a hundred maybe two is that, is that is that capable of carrying 200 amps i don't think that it is but i would say probably 100 amp 12s let's look at the voltage here and then we can see if these are what chemistry it is okay so three point so they seem to be lithium ion batteries and it would make sense you know to have lithium ion phosphate would be too big well but in trucks sometimes trucks would use that so the overall 3.8 right every cell so this one right now it's at 45 which is slightly above nominal so i think this is a 44.4 nominal voltage right 12s another 12s module it would, would have been great if it was a 13s or a 14s because then that would have been 48 but right now 44 and this one seems to be above uh well above nominal slightly 3.8 right so it's kind of on the charge side now what kind of cells are the only thing that we have here is this data manufactured since 11 6 2013 so these are old 2013 10 years old now other than that nothing let's take this bottom part off <laughs> So check this out here is the cooling system it's a serpentine style system that goes through and touches every single cell right so this is uh, uh you know very similar to what tesla uh started using in 2011 2010 with their first cars but this one is made out of uh seems to be made out of some kind of plastic see this this is a uh, kind of see-through plastic there uh, where Tesla used aluminum or or aluminium. So still we're now able to see what kind of cells these are, but these are cylindrical cells. Um, lithium ion cells, check it out. And the cover, it's, this stuff is super nice. Look at this. It's got like this epoxy thing here, like it's like a little, it's like a seal and it's nice and soft. It's like rubbery. Yeah, you see it over here. So that's just, to, I think, to apply pressure to the cells in there. But this whole thing just clips in. Oh my God, let's clip it back on here. So it'll stop leaking all this coolant all over the place. Hopefully I'm gonna put it the right way. All right, so whatever you do, do not take the bottom part off because this is compressed. Those seals on the bottom there, I realize what they're for. They're just there to put pressure. And so it's really tough. I had to use like clamps and I struggled with this for like 30 minutes trying to put this this bottom part to, together. So don't take it off. You got to see what's inside there. 
um, unless you want to redo this package, repackage it in a different way, I would say just don't, don't do it. I'd say don't do it. Just, you know, leave it as is. Let's take this thing off. I want to see maybe the cells say something. Or maybe we can redo this board so that we can get our own uh, our own board in here. Because obviously it's got a proprietary BMS, right? So we won't be able to use that. Let's take it apart. So this is pretty cool. I was really afraid that uh, when I was taking the screws off of here that the uh, little bus bars were gonna swing around and touch the other one short out and all sort of stuff. But the way that they work around that so that that doesn't happen is they put this, look, this is a, a plastic that is double-sided uh, and then it's they're just taped in there so that way they don't move around because they have to put that in there and it also has guide pins that the board over here also has this plate up here and also for the uh for this board it has guide guide plate so that it centers in there and you can't move it around this is pretty good engineering uh, it helps whoever's putting this together uh not make a mistake or make less mistakes right so this is cool again 12s not that useful but you know you could use it with victron um inverters right so this could be just a 44 volt uh you know uh little power pack or power wall or whatever now let's look at how much energy it's in here so this came in big boxes and they didn't have any labels or they had some labels that were very hard to read and the one thing that we could make out was that it said that each one of those boxes was 14 kilowatt hours and uh once we took these apart then there was eight modules inside of that so 14 kilowatt hours divided into eight or by eight then that's 1750 right so less than two kilowatts here so these are oh uh, yeah they're not they're kind of big for, for less than two kilowatts right are they yeah they are kind of big um again we're talking about 10 years ago technology right this is where lithium ion was 10 years ago uh so that's 1750 watt hours per module that means uh if you divide that by the 12 cells that you have there each cell is about 145.8 watt hours then you divide that into the nominal voltage of the cell which is 3.7 volts right then uh, it yields about 39.5 or 39 and a half. So, so these are probably like 40 amp hour cells when they were new. So about one point, yeah, one, 1 1.7 kilowatt hour module right here. Uh, I guess I'm gonna put this together and then test it, see where they're at now, 10 years of, 10 years past their their manufacture date right and i don't know what kind of life this battery had maybe maybe they put a hundred thousand miles on it on whatever it was on or maybe they didn't maybe it, they put five thousand miles in it and then they sat there in a warehouse somewhere and then it sat the bad they took the battery out and it sat it's been 10 years so i don't know where this battery's been for 10 years so let's test it